Hey folks, let's talk a little bit about audio today. So you probably already have audio set up on your Streamlabs. However, if you are a Mac user and you want to play audio from your laptop, for example, from a YouTube video or something like that, you want to be able to use uh, a third party software called Black Hole. If you are a PC user, you don't need to worry about this. This is only for you Mac users out there. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start by navigating to uh, uh, to Google and just type in black hole virtual audio driver and of course I will actually link uh, the actual uh, download link in the description below so that you guys can go ahead and find that uh, quickly so we're gonna scroll down here and go ahead and click on download installer and once we do that we'll be taken to this page black hole is gonna ask for your email and name this is just so they so that they can send you the email with the actual uh, download link um, and of course, this is free, so don't worry about that. So after you input this information and click subscribe for free Mac download, you'll be brought to this page in which um, you'll be asked to check your email because the link will be sent right there to the email that you've given to them. So let's go ahead and open our email here and we'll see that the link is right there. So let's go ahead and click on that link. So now it'll bring you to the page with uh, various versions of the software. Let's go ahead and choose the black hole two channel one up top. So let's give it a couple seconds to download. And here we are. And we're going to make sure to continue with the licensing agreements, of course. So now that we have this on our desktop, let's go ahead and open up our applications. So in our applications, we wanna go and look for utilities. There it is. And we're gonna go ahead and look for audio uh, MIDI input. Once we find that, let's go ahead and click on that application and open that application up here. So now that we have this opened up, you'll notice on the bottom left, uh, uh, of the page that opens up, there's a little plus button. We want to go ahead and click on that to add another audio device. And we're going to go ahead and select create multi output device. So once we have that here, there's a couple more steps. We want to make sure a couple boxes are checked and that's going to be the external headphones as well as Black Hole 2 channel, which we just downloaded. And also on the right here, um, where it says Drift, you're gonna check the box that correlates to Black Hole 2 channel. So once you've done that, we're done with the audio mini section. Now what we're gonna do is open up our sound preferences. Um, and once we open that up from the, uh, the, the Mac preferences, we're going to go to sound and of course find output here and we're going to check on that multi output device that we just configured. And now you're good to go um, as a Mac user. If you need to use your laptop to play any type of audio, you'll be able to do that. So I hope this was helpful. I know there's a lot of information, so feel free to go back through the video and click pause where you need to uh, follow along. And again, you can reach out to us in support if you ever need help. All right, see you in the next video.